Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I've been doing so much Christmas crafting around here, just really enjoying the time. This is really the only time of year I can do Christmas crafting successfully anyway. So I just figured I'm going to do a lot of it this year. I have two main things to show you, and that's more Christmas snippets because you guys still seem to be wanting those. And then also some Christmas wallpaper stuffed pouches. I made some just like floral and regular stuffed pouches. You guys loved them. I thought maybe you'd like some Christmas ones. So we'll get to that in a minute. But I'm going to show you my snippet roll or my snippet rolls. They're different um, lengths. Some are longer than others, but that'll all be in the description box of the listing. You can find them in the Christmas shop section of my website. Just click the link below. So I'm going to just kind of slowly go through so you can see Got little angel wings. I use bits of paper, ephemeras. I like to clip on little beaded safety pins. I love stickers that are unique, like have the little rhinestones and the glitter and paper. Put a little Tim Holtz girl there. I've got bits of doily. This is actually a sticker. I found these at Hobby Lobby. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the little hanging snowman and the little silver bow. It is a vintage Christmas fabric in the background. And so that's one. This one is slightly thinner. However, it is the same uh, fabric in the background, the green Christmas trees. There's a little red rose dangle. There's another one of those circle stickers. I add a little bit of glue to the back of them, even though they're stickers, just to, so they, they uh, stay. Look at that red leaf. Isn't that pretty? I put like um, die cut ephemera pieces. I got these at Tuesday morning. This is a sticker, little flowers. These are brads and I just use a pair of scissors and I cut off the little metal prongs and then I use glue. Look at the little Santa hat ribbon. Little appliques. Some, I love that fabric with the Christmas wreaths in the background. These are those super cheap like dollar store circle um, stickers. I had some of them and I thought I would stitch those on. This is from Tsunami Rose, I believe. Little snowman punch out, snowman button. I've just flat now, little rhinestone Christmas tree, a little gold jingle bell, silver wrapper. This is actually an eraser. Isn't that cute? A little Santa eraser. And then some really big Christmas baubles. You could unclip it if you wanted to. And this really pretty kind of almost boho ribbon. Get my three-year-olds getting loud in the background. He'll be starting preschool part-time here soon. So I should enjoy him while he's here, of course. More vintage Chris. All of the fabric is vintage Christmas fabric for the backgrounds. I've got a big lot of it on eBay and I've been using it up. Got some Tsunami Rose. I had printed these. I think it's her Christmas list. I think it was from maybe two years ago. Still had some. That pretty. There's like a two from sticker. I got these at Hobby Lobby too. Little rhinestone present stickers. I got this from Misty. She's on my design team and she sent me a bunch of ribbon and lace. And my four-year-old was helping me make these. And I gave him one of the bags she sent me. And I said, can you find any red or green Christmas stuff in there? And he gave me that. Stitching on the snippet roll helps keep the background pieces in place so they're not going to come off. A little bit of calico collage. I don't remember the name of that Christmas kit, but I love it. See, there's another one of those stickers. Isn't that pretty? There's a little angel charm. This is calico collage too. So that one's longer. That one's a nice length. You can cut them up, use them on your journal pages, use them on gifts. Another, another one here. Look at the little silver snowman. So cute. These are like Christmas seals. A 
I love that Santa. These stickers, got them at Tuesday morning and they're kind of puffy, but they're not overly puffy. They add texture. I love them. They were a good price too. They were less than $2. Isn't that cute? There's just so much to look at. Here's a little Christmas rose. Whoop, I'm going off screen because I'm too busy looking at my snippet roll. Isn't that beautiful? And this fabric has like gold threads through it. It's more vintage Christmas fabric. And then this is a thin, just a little thin one, which would be great for wrapping a present. My kid keeps calling me. That's super cute. That little deer is calico collage. Get the little uh, Christmas light. These, all the ones on the clips, you can unclip them and move them wherever you want them or even to another project. Like these, you could just unclip that has a wooden red bead on it. There's one of those puffy stickers I was telling you about, but it is a little candy cane. These are digital collage club. Oh, she has so many collage sheets and they're perfect for stuff like this. I have a lot of information and coupon codes about her site in the description box below. So check that out. This is antique papery. I have her link down too. And this is actually like an ATC card or journal card size, but I printed them really small and it says Merry Christmas to you so that they would fit on my snippets. It's a little vintage Christmas fabric ribbon. There's a little puffy Santa, a little angel. There's a little dangly candy cane, glittered candy cane. Oh, I love these so much. I can't wait to make more. So if you guys um, purchase these, I will be making more for sure. Now here are, I made eight wallpaper pouches. Each one has 20 plus Christmas ephemera pieces. The pouch is reusable, really good quality um, wrap or wallpaper. And I've kind of chosen these neutral colors that make me think of Christmas sweaters. Um, they're kind of reddish gray, um, kind of this tan top color. And so I didn't go crazy decorating the pouch because I wanted you to have a lot of options for reusing it for using it to re-gift something, to use it in a journal, to make a journal to put in it. So this one, um, obviously I've made it Christmas, it's full of Christmas goodies, but you could redecorate it and add things to it to maybe change that theme. Um, to me, this is kind of like sweater slash candy cane. I've used green stitching. There's a cute little button right there. This red clip is just holding it down for now. You could always add um, something like a Velcro if you wanted to keep it closed. Maybe you want it open. Maybe you want to cut the flap off. Use the flap as a border and then have an open pouch. It's textured. And I'm going to show you inside each one. These are all items and things in each one that I, the types of things I use in my journal, they all come from my Christmas stash and I'm just sharing my goodies with you. So we just have like a little seal on some ripped Christmas paper, a little Christmas house tag, some uh, cut aparts like this one says, oh dear. I've put a little antique papery. Remember when I told you I made the ATC cards small? That's one of the small ones more journal cards. These are from Vintage Image Club. These two are freebies. I found them in an old scanned book. This little cute kid and Santa and then some carolers going into a church. And um, these are free over on VintageImageClub.com. But um, there's only a couple days left to get a lifetime membership for $29.99. Uh, normally it's $90. So if you want to check that out, hundreds of public domain images that I put together for you guys. This is an antique papery. I printed it on like this really nice glossy paper. Some tag stickers. This is another tag sticker. Some beautiful white lace. I think it looks like flowers or snowflakes. And I got this from Misty as well. This is also antique papery. It's printed on cardstock. Here's a sticker label, another label, a little gift tag. Here's a little bag and I've put a little snowman on there so you can put things in there. A little um, Christmas activity book page you could use in a journal. This is a little flip open tag. I've added rickrack, sewn that on, 
and then some white puffy hearts to look kind of like snowballs or snowflakes, but they're hearts. And then here's a tag with some really pretty blue floral lace that Misty gave me. And then there's that tag, it's cardstock. So that is what is inside this one. There's still room, like you could add all your Christmas ephemera for your December daily in here. Um, if there's other bits and pieces you've made or you've gotten from other people as well. So I love how this one came out. This one is not, it's not really textured, um, but I love it. It looks like a sweater. And then there's some of that red, red and white rosette um, lace that Misty gave me. And the paper clip is like a little coffee cup. So it could be hot chocolate, peppermint, something like that. So I thought that was really subtle and cute for Christmas. I'll try to go a little faster since they're similar. I mean, everyone is different, but there are some of the same and similar items. Um, there's two labels on that one. This is from a Calico Collage, and it's one of those you can open it up and write a secret note inside. Here's some flat back rhinestone stickers, Christmas card that'd be really pretty to put in a journal, like as a page in the signature, a Christmas sticker label. Here's a sewn Christmas paper ribbon I made. Here is a, it's like a wooden tag that says happy holidays. That would be fun on a journal cover, a little music tag. I don't remember. I think this might be Artie Mays. I had it in my um, stash. There's a digital collage club. It's one of a flip open tag or little carolers. This is Calico Collage. <laughs> there was a Christmas tree sticker inside, so I left it because I thought that was cute. A little Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer activity sheet. There's a little bag and then inside I put a APC card, some washi samples. And there's a sheet of clear stickers. I got these a Tuesday morning, aren't they cute? And then a little pouch, this is Artie Mays. And then I put some Calico Collage Christmas bits in there. And a little, um, I got these a Tuesday morning, little elf in a mushroom and some presents. So that's that set. You may want to buy multiples of these because you can use all of this stuff in your crafting and then you can kind of combine them into one envelope and then use the other envelopes to give gifts. They're perfect for money gifts for Christmas, like if you have a check or a gift card or, you know, just something small like, you know, a pair of socks or a candy bar. It makes a really pretty packaging. You don't have to wrap it. So there's that one. This one has some really pretty gold lace. Misty gave me that. And then I put a gold Christmas seal on it. Kept it very minimal. That was my goal on these. This was a Tsunami Rose. And then I backed it with some paper. Just trying to show you quickly what's in here. Cut aparts and tags. I love a pop of blue in Christmas. Somehow it makes me think of ice in winter and snow and all of that. So in some rickrack on that. There's a little bag and inside are some sticker uh, tags. Pretty sure this is Artie Mays, isn't that pretty? It's left over from a project I did I think two years ago. A little activity sheet. Sticker. I love this tag, isn't that pretty? This I got from Feed the Birdies in a D-Stash box I bought. It is a vintage uh, Hallmark, like you would put it on a package. Isn't that cool? So that's what comes in here. Then this one has a black and gold ribbon and then a white rosette. It's a gray, it has a slight texture to it. And then I just have a silver clip holding it closed. This is like a little ornament, but you could, you know, use it as a tag or glue it onto something. This says best day ever. I thought that would be so cute to slip into a Christmas journal. And you can put it 
behind other colors so it pops. This is lots and lots of fluffy snow and I sewed around it. Write your story. Here's a cute little gold striped bag. I put a little sticker on it and then inside are some four of those tiny little antique papery. I mean, I printed them small, little vintage Christmas cards. There's a label. I think this was Tsunami Rose. It says best wishes. There's a Christmas card. There's a tag. This says these traditions are the best and you can put a picture behind it. It's a doily that I've stitched a cute little reindeer on. Christmas activity page. Uh, this was, a, I think it was a Tsunami Rose envelope and I put five of these silver snowflake um, stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're fun to add to projects. I have pink snowflake and a Merry Christmas sticker label. And then this just has a little, yes, no, there was a silver, oh, huh. okay. The clothespin goes on the bag. Of course you could switch it up and then that clips right there. This is one of my favorite bags that I made. It has a texture to it. It's like off white, white and gray. There's gold lace, a little heart, and then these are paper clips, little reindeer paper clips or little deer paper clips. And I made them face each other and then put a little heart down there. So you just pull those off, open up the bag. So we have two Christmas cards. I'm going to try to go quickly. That one says, hello winter. Here's an Artie Mays tag. I've added some Rick Rack too. Um, this is a card I got in Happy Mail. It says Shining Brightly. I think Lori Noonmaker made this um, into some Christmas stuff she gave me a long time ago, but it was time to give it a home this year. There's some snowflakes stitched on the bottom of this tag. Here's a little flip out, but I've added one of those, or I call these fliplets. Added a little sticker to that. That's a little calico collage snowman. Here's a little calico collage coin, like it opens up and you could write in it. This is an antique papery Christmas floral and I added a sticker that says burr. These are die cut shapes and there's 21 gold leaves in here. I thought that would be really great for the holidays. We have beautiful Christmas tide printed sheet music. I think this is Tsunami Rose calico collage. and a little activity page and a Merry Christmas. I tried to give a really nice variety in each package so you would get all sorts of things. I love a hodgepodge of everything when I'm crafting and so that was my goal. I had to dig deep into my stash. My stash is getting kind of low when it comes to Christmas, but that's okay. I'd like to clear out most of it this year and start, not fresh, but we need to use the things we have and create. I love this little deer. So this one is very simple and this does not have to be Christmas. It's textured. I just added that gold piece, but I thought it was super elegant. You could um, hang some Christmas charms. You could really jazz it up for Christmas or you could use it anytime during the year in a different way. This is just the front of the card that I cut out. I thought that'd be pretty on the front of a journal or as a journal card. Here's a little bag that has some goodies in it. We have some burlap paper and some tags. This was also in some Happy Meal. I believe this was also made by Lori. Baby, it's cold outside. Isn't that cute? I think this was calico collage and I sewed it on some paper and stitched around it. This is a little two from sweater tag. It has like a velour uh, raised feel. Love this tag too. Isn't that pretty? I put some of that gold ribbon on it. 
Like little pieces and bits. Activity page. Little bag. I added a doily. And then isn't that sloth the cutest thing? So stuck him in the bag. There's a little sled. This is Dear Santa. There's a little envelope. And then inside is a little fliplet from Auntie's Papery. Have a little tsunami rose list paper. Calico collage. This would be great for layering on a front cover. I've inked it up and ripped around it. If snowflakes were kisses, I'd send you a blizzard. And this is probably my favorite piece in this whole bag. And it is like a, like a vintage index card with a little reindeer button. So I love the combination in this bag. And I love how this bag, you could use it for Christmas or really any time, birthdays, anniversaries. I mean, it's perfect to stick your little gift in. Perfect. This one I kept extremely minimal too. I love the gold feel to it. It's textured and there's just a little beaded red and green safety pin clipped right here. You could unclip that if you wanted to. Here is a little fliplet and I added some of those rhinestone present stickers journal card. This is an actual vintage postcard. It says a Merry Christmas to greet you. It is really old. I got this on eBay. And I was say um, I got like a lot of um it was like 50 or 100 vintage postcards and there was one Christmas one. So I set that aside for you guys. There's some rhinestones, labels, wonderful winter. This is a sticker. It says this story belongs to is the season to be jolly. Here's a little washi sample. You have Christmas trees, peppermint stripes, and snowflakes. Here's a little vintage image that I altered a couple years ago. I found it printed. It's on cardstock, and I thought that would be a beautiful journal cover or journal card. I got this in some happy mail. It is a little penguin stamp with some rhinestones, so I thought I would pass that along to somebody. It was cute. That, that one says Merry Days. There's one of those labels again, the activity pages, a little calico collage pocket. I just backed it with some fabric to make like a pouch. And then this one says, you cut Christmas tree farm. You have a naughty or nice list. This is Artie Mays. So is this, and this is calico collage. As you can see, a lot of calico collage, Artie Mays, and Tsunami Rose. I used to be on their design teams a long time ago. A guest design team for Artie Mays and design team for the other ones. So I had some Christmas stuff left that was printed. So it was great to find a use for that. These ones are a little narrower, but they have the same amount of stuff in them. Textured, this cute little paper clip is a Christmas tree and it's kind of like a silicone. It's really cute, but when you take that off, it's not necessarily Christmas. You could use it for something else. So this is a vintage image that I altered a couple years ago. One more sleep till Christmas. I had it printed out. I had never used it. I thought it was so cute. I just stitched it on some paper, stitched a little gold seal on this tag. This I'd gotten happy mail. It says be good for goodness sake. And it is a little snow globe penguin fliplet cute little tag, Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer activity page, and then we have some cute little to from tag, Santa tag. This little uh, guy is a playing card, a candy cane to from tag, to from, jingle all the way. Here's the front of a Christmas card, another front of a Christmas card, seal, Here's a bunch of um, Christmas post-it notes. I've just added a little bit of washi to the sticky part on the back so that it um, doesn't get sticky everywhere. Calico collage. It's a Crazy Eights Christmas playing card. And then I stitched some burlap on this paper, added a little button, and you can journal on the back and a lot of stitching. And a really cute card there. These are just so much 
fun to make. And then last but not least, I used a little Santa sticker seal there. This is textured. Love the gold lace effect on it. So this is a graphic 45 tag and I just threaded through some of that blue floral lace. In here, I just stitched it closed. You can cut it open, but there's uh, two dies. There's an oval die and then a Merry Christmas die. These are the days of Christmas, one all the way to Christmas. There's 25 in here. There's some little, I don't even remember who these are from, but they're vintage, little vintage like postcards that I've backed with paper and stitched. Ooh, gotta love Santa. And a plaid reindeer, of course, and a little Christmas camper. This is antique papery. It's printed on ivory cardstock. This is heavy duty glittered paper. Turned it into a tag. There's a vintage Santa. Here's a little foam sticker. Little puzzle page. Some Merry Christmases. Another Christmas card I got in Happy Mail a few years ago. Be Merry, Hug Santa. It's a little Christmas squirrel and some Snoopy, Christmas Snoopy notes. So I hope that you guys love what I've put together. Um, I definitely plan to have another Christmas restock with similar things like this. Um, if you guys love these and buy them, we're still moving stuff over from our old shop to this shop. However, most of the important things are over there. All of the Christmas stuff is over there. And if you are missing, the main things that are missing are digitals and prints. So if there's a digital or a print you were wanting that I haven't gotten over there yet, then just send me a quick message. I'd be more than happy to get that up for you right away and send you the link so you can check out. I still have access to all of them. It just for some reason they did not port from Etsy to Shopify. So I have to go in and manually move them, which takes time and I'm working on it little by little. Yesterday I added a ton of journal supplies. So to, today I wanna try to finish adding a few autumn things we have left. If I get to that, um, just let me know what I can do to help all of you. I did this move to make it things easier on all of you. Um, I do my best to give you guys what you love for your crafting, give you inspiration. And just one more thing, even if you're not buying these, you look at them and you go, you know what, I think I can make that. Yeah, you can. If you don't have wallpaper, that's okay. You could use some cardstock to make a little pouch. It doesn't matter the size. You can make it any size. Decorate it with what you have. You know, these are great little swap envelopes and you don't even have to fill them with as much stuff. You can keep them flat and light and then send them as random acts of kindness. I think that would be a lot of fun as well. Last year, I did a Dollar Tree Christmas giveaway. It was so much fun, and I plan on doing something like that again in the coming weeks if I can get that together. So let me know if that's something that you would like. Um, if you'd like to participate in that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if there's enough people who would like to do it, then I will definitely get that planned. I was talking to Joanne about that today. We both thought it was a great idea. I hope you'll go over to our Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals, and Friends. We started doing daily discussions discussion topics Monday through Friday where we give tips or we talk about different things. Today's topic was on cyberbullying. Uh, Joanne has been moderating that wonderfully about being kind and unafraid and standing up uh, to the bullies and um, promoting a community of love and acceptance. So that was today's topic, but we've also had topics on um, favorite craft supplies and the most stressful crafting things and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you wanna join in on that discussion and have some fun, please join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. You are more than welcome over there. There are not a lot of rules. You can post your um, creations, you can post your YouTube links, your Etsy links, we're here for you to help you every step of your crafting journey. It's not about us, it's about the community. So I hope that you all feel that and that you know that Joanne and I care about you guys and love you. If you're not sure who Joanne is, she's my business partner. 
Her YouTube is linked below. Be sure you subscribe, watch her videos. Uh, she is the queen of collage. Her collaging is incredible. It inspires me all the time. And you can find her products for sale on my website as well. We share that website and Facebook group, but we have separate YouTube channels. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I'll stop talking now and see you in the next video.